Okay. So good morning once again, everyone. Good morning. I hope all of you uh, revised what we have studied in last class. Tell me, सबको याद है? Last class में क्या पढ़ाई हुआ था हम लोगों का? Yes, we will revise what we have studied in last class. But I hope सबको याद हो गया है ना? हाँ चलो किसको उसको याद है? Last class में क्या क्या पढ़ा था हमने? Yes, very good. So basically, we talked about okay. We talked about what is as a chain. What is the different type of uh, harmonic motion, right? Linear harmonic motion, angular harmonic motion. Then we talked about position, right? What is the position of harmonic motion, right? Position of particle which is having harmonic motion, right? Okay. Yes. Then. Yes, this lecture three, right? Sorry, I forgot. Lecture two was DSS. Okay, so this is third lecture. I'll rectify that. Okay. Okay, so I'll just revise. Okay, I'll revise what we've studied till last class, right? So see, if we talk about the topics, we basically started with the definition. What is SHM, what is oscillatory motion, what is periodic motion, right? Then we talked about the position, right? What is SHM? How particle, right, have this kind of motion, right? What is the reason behind that? So we observe the reason is the restoring force, right? If the restoring force, right, is directly proportional to the displacement, okay? Is directly proportional to the displacement of the object. Then we said that the motion would be. Tell me. S H M. Okay. So we intuitively derived, or we intuitively thought, what would be the equation, or what would be the actual uh, position at a at with respect to time. So we concluded that the position will be a sine function or cos function depending on the initial. Phase initial position, right? So if it's starting from the extreme position, right? This position that I've drawn over here. If it's starting from this position, then it will be x is equal to a cos omega t. But if it is starting from this position, right? This position like this, then it will be a sin omega t. So in general, I can say in general, I can say that the expression for displacement can be written as a sin omega t plus phi. Right where phi is your initial phase. Okay, now this is the displacement of particle with respect to time. Now when we talk about velocity, so we know that velocity is equal to dx by dt. Okay, so if we differentiate this, the sine function, the sine function become cos function, and omega will be taken as constant outside. We know that differentiation of sine omega t plus phi using chain rule. Okay, now. I told you this cos theta, this whole cos omega t plus phi. Omega t plus phi is called as phase, right? Phase. I hope all of you remember what is phase. Phase basically describes the position of the particle at any moment of time. Okay. So I can say this cos can be written in terms of sine using this formula. Cos theta is equal to root of one minus sine square theta, right? Now, if you use this, so I'll say. This will be a omega and root of one minus sine omega sine square omega t plus phi. Now, if you take a inside, we'll get this expression. Now, a square sine square omega t plus phi, nothing but x square, right? So we will get omega under root a square minus x square. V is equal to omega under root x square minus phi a square minus x square. So this is what we have used in last problem. Okay. Right. Then we talked about what is phase, right? How phase is basically, right? How SHM, right, can be observed as the shadow of circular motion. Then we understood the concept of phase, right? Okay. Then we talked about energy. When, uh, yes, right. So basically, we talked about spring mass system. Okay. Now, when we talk about the spring mass system, we know that we will have energy. What kind of energy? Now, since The object is moving. We will have potential energy as well as kinetic energy, both, right? If it is having velocity, kinetic energy will be there. If spring is expanded, and if there is restraining force, right? Okay, there will be potential energy, and we know that potential energy is negative of work done. Okay, 
and kinetic energy is half mv square so if we see the negative work done right the work done is given by root of sorry and root sorry integration of f dot dx which is minus integration of f dx why minus because it is a restoring force restoring force is always opposite to the displacement i hope all of you remember or you can just put f is equal to minus kx it doesn't matter okay you can do both right but either put minus and put kx or just put minus kx because negative sign means the force is opposite direction of displacement right that's what we know i hope all of you remember this concept okay now after integrating we will get that this work done is minus kx square by 2 so potential energy is half kx square right okay now you can just put the value of x which is a sin omega t plus phi okay so i can say potential energy is half k a square sin omega sin square omega t plus phi so if you see this function we said that okay this function right will be maximum when the sin term will be maximum so when sin will be maximum tell me when this is this is 90 degree right or i can say when the object is at extreme position okay now when we talk about potential energy this is the formula and this is half k a is for maximum potential energy at extreme position now when you talk about kinetic energy so that is half mv square we know the formula of v v we calculated which is a omega cos omega t plus phi so square is equal to a square omega square cos square omega t plus phi right okay or omega root of a square minus x square so if you use either this or this we will get an expression okay so i can say i can say if we add these two if we add these two this is kinetic energy this is potential energy right this this potential energy right if we add these two so i can say after adding after adding the total energy is half kx k a square which means the energy is always conserved right okay riya right okay okay so this is half k a square okay so this is what we have studied till last class i hope all of you remember tell me i hope all of you remember this and then we solved basic problem this is what we have studied right this is what we have studied then we solved basic problems based on these concepts we solved some formula putting getting problems then we solved some good conceptual problems okay now uh, before starting the class right i want you to solve one more problem okay one more problem because we have covered this concept in last class i hope all of you remember how to find or how to add to find functions right i have taught you in the last class itself so try to solve this problem guys try to solve this problem everyone it's a warm up problem okay so let's see first one i hope all of you remember the last concept that we studied right suppose i'm having two function right so a sin omega t plus b cos omega t okay y is equal to and i have to convert this into one sin function so we know that this can be converted as y is equal to root of a square plus b square into a divided by root of a square plus b square sin omega t plus b by root of a square plus b square cos omega t right yes or no how many of you remember this right tell me now this is what this can be as cos phi and this can be written as sin phi okay so it is root of a square plus b square okay sin omega t cos phi plus cos omega t sin phi okay so which can further be written as right this is the formula sin a cos b plus cos a sin b so it is root of a square plus b square sin 
omega t plus phi. Now, if you think about it, right, the value a and b are same. So this is what this is. What? Tell me. This is equal to. This is equal to a root two, a root two, and this it will be what one by root two. So what would be the value of phi? Tell me. What would be the value of phi? Right, one by root two cos pi is equal to one by root two. So phi is equal to pi by four, right? So it will be sine omega t plus pi by four. So this is, tell me, this is so it should be x, right? My bad. Okay, this is x, x total, x, x. Anyone have any issues? Tell me. Anyone have any issue in this? Tell me, everyone. Raise the hand. You got it. No, Jitendra, we cannot take common, right? This is the basic formula, right? Okay. Now, the second question. If you think about the second question, that is very good, right? Because see, this is x and y. What is the meaning of x and y? Tell me. What is the meaning of x and y? Means the object, the two particles, right? Okay. They are actually having this such a motion, but in two directions, which is perpendicular to each other. Yes or no? Two directions which is perpendicular to each other. Now this is not a problem of physics. This is not a problem of physics. This is a basic problem of maths, right? Now, how many of you studied uh, conics? Tell me. How many of you studied conics? Parametric form. How many of you remember parametric form? Tell me. How many of you remember parametric form of a circle? what we are trying to do we are trying to find the position we are trying to find the equation of position right this is x net right okay now i want to find the position but here the force okay here the force is in or the displacement is in both direction x and y okay so think about it x is equal to what b i'll just talk about b x is equal to a sin omega t okay And y is equal to a cos omega t, right? Yes. Very good, guys. Easy. So you, what you have to do? You have to eliminate t, right? Because you have to find the relationship between x and y. Now you have to find the position, and we know that the position is nothing but the locus, right? Yes or no? So it will be x square is equal to a square. Sine square omega t and y square is equal to a square cos square omega t. Now what to do? Add them, right? Add them. So x square because the position will be both in both x and y axis. Yes or no? Tell me. If if you are applying a force in both x and y direction, the obvious thing is the motion should be in both x and y axis, right? Okay, it won't be in just x axis. Okay, and using this, using this, I can say it will be equal to what a square. Now this is sine square theta plus cos square theta. What is the value of sine square theta plus cos square theta? Tell me. What is the value of sine square theta plus cos square theta? I hope all of you remember this one. So don't you think that you got an equation? Tell me, right? This is this is the locus. Yes or no? Right, this is the locus, or this is the position. Okay. Right. And what is this equation? Tell me. This is the equation of a circle, which means the particle is actually moving in a circle. Right? Is actually moving in a circle. Got it, everyone? Tell me. Got it? Yes or no? Got this concept? Tell me. Raise your hand. Got this concept, everyone? Okay. Yes, very good, very good, everyone. Okay, so see, think about it, right? Think about it. Was this a very difficult problem, or this was a very basic problem based on the basic concept of SHM? Tell me. Think about. It. You have to think like that, right? You have to think about the concept. Okay, now let's solve one more problem. Okay, one more problem based on. The concept that we have studied, right? Because see, SHM is easy if you solve more and more problems. 
Try solving this problem, everyone. Try solving question number nine. Try solving question number nine. Okay. Okay. So I guess most of you have tried. So the answer is B. The answer is B. Huh? Right? The answer is B. Now think about it, right? Think about it. A particle start oscillating. Simple harmonically from its equilibrium position. So initially, equilibrium pe start hua hai. Yes or no? Right? Then the ratio of kinetic and potential energy of particle time t by twelve. Yes or no? So easy hai ki nahi? We know that simple formula put in getting potential energy formula kya hota hai? Batao. Half k a. Tell me half k a square. Tell me. Half k square into what? Tell me into what? Tell me sine or cos? Sine, na? Right? Sine square omega t plus pi. But it is starting from equilibrium position. Equilibrium position. So, ye phi kya hoga? Zero, right? So, just omega t. और काइनेटिक एनर्जी का क्या फॉर्मूला होता है काइनेटिक एनर्जी इक्वल टू हाफ के ए स्क्वायर टेल मी कॉस स्क्वायर ओमेगा टी यस और नो नाउ तुमको रेशियो निकालना है टाइम दिया हुआ है सो इट्स बेसिक द रेशियो राइट विल बी ऑफ साइंस का थीटा बाय कॉस का थीटा यस और नो राइट आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड दिस इजी राइट यस और नो इजी टेल मी so the answer is three by one. सब कुछ समझ में आई है हाँ चलो सब कुछ समझ में आ गया एवरी वन बॉट दिस यस ओके ट्राई सॉल्विंग दिस एवरी वन ट्राई सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम ओके दिस इज ऑल्सो बेस्ड ऑन द वेरी बेसिक हाँ भी राम डायरेक्टली रेशियो सेम है ना लाइक अगर किसी को नहीं समझ में आई इसलिए मैंने पूरा फॉर्मुला लिखा ठीक है Try solving this. The answer is D, right? The answer is D. Okay, right? How? Let's see about this. So in this problem, what is given? A displacement is given by x is equal to a sine omega t plus pi naught. There's a basic equation. At time t is equal to zero, x is equal to a by two. Okay. So here, how much will you get? Five. Yes or no? Right. But it is given that it is moving along negative x-axis. ठीक है? So जिनका जिनका pi by six लिया, जिनका जिनका pi by six लिया, that is correct. But it is moving at negative x-axis. समझ में आ रहा है कि नहीं? Right? Yes, that is the key. Okay. So if it is moving at negative x-axis, which means, right? Sine theta, sine theta should be greater than pi by two. Yes or no? Right? Yes. Got it? Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? So you will get all of you got this. All of you got this is very easy. Formula putting getting right. So you will get this two values: pi by six and five pi by six. Okay, pi by six and five pi by six. Right? But this is the key negative x direction. Negative x direction. Right? ओके सो ऑब्वियसली पाइ बाय सिक्स होता तो पॉजिटिव एक्स डायरेक्शन होता ना यस और नो बट नेगेटिव एक्स डायरेक्शन में है दैट्स व्हाई इट शुड बी ग्रेटर देन पाइ बाय टू दैट्स व्हाई द आंसर इज पाइ पाइ बाय सिक्स गॉट इट एवरीवन टेल मी एवरीवन गॉट दिस यस सब कुछ समझ में आ गया एवरीवन जनरली हम लोग मानते हैं जनरली जब स्टार्ट करते ना है तो इट गोज अप थिंक अबाउट इट राइट ठीक है सोचो एक बार जब जनरली ये होता है हाउ दिस फंक्शन गोज लाइक दिस ना यस ऑन यस ऑन राइट जनरली द फंक्शन स्टार्ट लाइक दिस यस राइट सो थिंक अबाउट इट ओके वेन यू टॉक अबाउट द वैल्यू आई दर इट इज हाफ एट दिस वैल्यू और दिस वैल्यू Okay, so in this it is positive direction, right? X is increasing, right? And this it is negative direction. Yes or no? Got it? 
ओएस आई होप ऑल यू कैन अंडरस्टूड दिस नाउ ठीक है ओके सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम नंबर 11 एवरीवन प्रॉब्लम नंबर 11 ओके ट्राई सॉल्विंग दिस या द आंसर इज 2f ओके ना थिंक अबाउट इट थिंक अबाउट इट इंट्यूशनली सोचो इंट्यूशनली सोचो ओके इफ यू थिंक अबाउट इट इंट्यूशनली राइट वी कैन से दैट द काइनेटिक एनर्जी ओके थिंक अबाउट इट लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ मीन पोजिशन ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ मीन पोजिशन ना एट मीन पोजिशन ओके इनिशियली सो वेन इट गो टू एक्सट्रीम पोजिशन इट गोज टू एक्सट्रीम पोजिशन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी right then here kinetic energy then potential energy okay again kinetic energy again potential energy so this is one oscillation right this is one oscillation agree okay so obviously when you talk about kinetic energy it should be twice right now if you talk about mathematics if you talk about mathematics i can say okay the function when you talk about the function right this that is what tell me half k a square cos square omega t yes or no yes or no right so since cos is cos since cos is which function even function right cos square so time period will be pi mathematically also you can do it right okay so it is half of the tell me normal frequency got it right got it everyone yes or no tell me got it everyone tell me everyone any have anyone have any doubt no clear okay very good okay so i hope this was enough practice okay this was enough practice for the concept that we have studied okay okay so guys i'll repeat no issues wait i'll just repeat okay think about it think about it i'll i said that meant about kinetic energy first without equations think intuitively okay this is a mean position okay or just start with any extreme position okay so this is your extreme position here we will have potential energy then mean position this is just kinetic energy second this is extreme to mean to extreme yes now again if you talk about it it will be what kinetic energy here then potential energy here so this whole cycle is one time period but kinetic energy for kinetic energy okay it is two time period yes or no right now if you talk about equation so kinetic energy is given by half k a, a square cos square omega t right i'm just ignoring phi i'm just assuming that is starting from this position right okay or plus phi doesn't matter now tell me what is the time period over here then what is the time period over here 2 pi yes or no tell me yes or no right the time period of cos theta is 2 pi what is the time period of cos square theta what is the time period of cos square theta half pi only right so if time period is getting half then frequency will be twice now yes or no tell me yes or no got it right okay okay so i hope all of you understood this concept okay very good now we will move to second concept okay now i hope all of you are aware of basic 
terms, basic parameters. Okay. Now think about it. Suppose I'm talking about SHM. What is the most important concept that we have to think of? Tell me. Restoring force. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? Restoring force. Because when you talk about the basic definition, it is restoring force should be directly proportional to X. Okay. Now, if restoring force is changed, right, and it can be your simple SHM, right? Sorry, simple pendulum, or it can be spring mass, right? Think about it. What can be the restoring force? Tell me. Just think about it. Think about it. Guys, think about it and tell me what can be the restoring force. Which force can act as a restraining force, right? When you talk about spring mass system, we have spring which acts as, right? Spring force which acts as restraining force, right? Then when you talk about simple pendulum, then in pendulum we have tension mg, okay, right? Then tell me. Right, then. It can be because of buoyancy also, right? Yes or no? It can be because of buoyancy. It can, it can be because of pressure difference also. Yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? So all these forces, right? Either you have buoyancy or you have Mg, right? Or the component of Mg or you have Kx. All these forces can act as restoring force. That's the basic concept. Yes or no? So I can say, I can say, okay. Okay, sir, my basic expression should be this F restoring should be equal to minus Kx. Yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? And this should be equal to Ma, right? Which is equal to M omega square X. So if I equate this and this, I'll get omega. Clear? Tell me, this concept we have already studied, yes or no? Just raise your hand. We'll, we will think of all the cases. We will think. We won't just understand. We'll think, okay? Okay, now first such case, we talked about spring mass system. Okay, let's talk about first such case, which is simple pendulum. Now, I hope all of you remember what is simple pendulum. Yes or no? Yes or no? Right? Okay, now in simple pendulum, right, the condition or the assumption that we want to take is that this angle theta is very less. This theta is very less. Okay, why is it so? Because if theta is very less, then I can say that this motion is almost like SHM. Yes or no? Linear SHM to be very frank because we're talking about linear SHM. Yes, right? Okay, so this is the assumption that we will take. Now, think about it. Think about it. Okay, what are the forces that is acting on this mass? Tell me, what is the force acting on this mass? We have mg, yes or no? And tension, agree? So I can say, I can say we have two components of mg. Okay, two components of mg, mg sine theta, mg cos theta, yes or no? Yes or no, right? And what is the restraining force over here? Restraining force will be this, right? Yes or no? Agree? Suppose if there's no tension over here, suppose if there's no tension over here, Will this ball, right? Okay, will this ball move in this SHM, right? Tell me. Suppose there is no wire. Think about it. Sneha, when we when we talk about concept of pseudo force, the concept of pseudo force is see, first of all, pseudo force is not an actual force, it is just a force that we take depending on the frame of reference. Yes or no? I hope all of you remember this, right? Depending on inertial frame or non-inertial frame, we take pseudo force. Okay, and pseudo force has nothing to do with this problem, right? Because we're not talking about any inertia, non-inertial frame. We're just talking about the components of force which is acting on this ball, this mass M. Okay, right? Now think about it. Let's let's rewrite it. Okay, let's rewrite the equation. So if I'm talking about this, so mg sine theta in this component, right? Mg cos theta and tension 
Okay, clear, right? Anyone have any doubt in this? I hope all of you understood. Now, if you write the, so I can say I can say the tension is balanced by mg. The tension is balanced by mg. So which component, which component is actually allowing this to move toward mean position? Tell me, which component of force is allowing or making the mass m to move toward the mean position? Tell me, which is the restraining force? Think about it. Sneha, tell me, Chulika, everyone, which component of force, because of which component of force it is moving toward mean position? That's your restraining force, right? Think about it, everyone. Think about it. Yes, very good, OS. Mg sine theta. Correct. Mg sine theta, right? Yes or no? Okay. Yes, it is there already, right? So I hope all of you understood. So I can say that this mg sine theta is responsible for acceleration, right? This is F restoring. Agree, everyone? Tell me, agree? Okay. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, I can say that if theta is very small, if theta is very small, then sine theta is equal to theta. If theta is very small, then sine theta is equal to theta. So I can say this restraining force is equal to mg theta, right? Okay. Yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? Yes, clear? Okay, very good. So think about it, think about it. If I'm writing this, can I say that MA is equal to MG theta? Anyone have any issues in this? Step by step, step by step. Now MM will get canceled and we know that this A is nothing but omega square X, yes or no? Yes or no? Which is equal to G. Now, I, I hope all of you remember, theta is equal to L by R, right? L by R. Or here, I can say X by L. X by L. L is the length. L is the length of the pendulum, right? Okay, x is this dist distance and this is the length of the pendulum. Theta is equal to arc by radius. So if you put this value, we will get x by L, right? Now, see this. X axis will get cancelled. What is the value of omega here? Tell me, omega is equal to root G by L. Agree? Tell me, yes or no? Yes or no? Right? So which means 2 pi by t is equal to root g by l. So t is 2 pi root l by g. Clear everyone, tell me, clear? Yes? Anyone have any issue in this? Anyone have any issue in this for simple pendulum? It is easy. Tell me. So see how we just have to calculate the, uh, what cases is given. You just have to calculate the restoring force. Okay, clear? Okay, now let's see, let's see the second one. Okay, I'll ask you to solve second one, then I'll explain, right? So this is liquid in YouTube, okay? Now think about it, think about it. Try to find, try to find 
Okay, try to find the time period in this case. So density of liquid would be given. Displacement is given, right? So mean position is this. Mean position is this. So displacement is given. Okay, find the time period. Everyone, think about it. Okay, very good. So I can say, right? That's why I asked you to focus on the concept and try by yourself. So because of this, think about it. This liquid, there will be additional force on this point. Yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? Right? That will make this surface to move up. Right? So I can say pressure difference because of this liquid column. Okay, of height two x will be acting as a restoring force, and we know that pressure is equal to rho g h. Rho g h h is two x. Anyone have any issues in this? Anyone have any issue in this? And we know that pressure is equal to force per unit area. So this restoring force is equal to what? Pressure into area. Yes or no? See how simple this was. So it is rho g a into two x. Anyone have any issues? This f. Tell me. Anyone have any issues? Raise your hand. Any have anyone have any issues? Tell me. Think about it. Anyone have any issue in this? Okay. Now, if we compare this with what? M. A M A is equal to right rho G capital A into two x. Now M is what? M is what? Density into volume only, right? Or you can just write in terms of M. Doesn't matter. So it will be what? Tell me. M omega square x is equal to rho G A into two x. So x x cancel, omega square is equal to rho g or two rho g a by m. Anyone have any issue till this point? Tell me. Anyone have any issue till this point? Tell me yes or no. Okay, so this is what we did, right? This is what we did. Yes or no? This is what we did. Clear? Right? This is what we did, na? Yes. So time period is equal to what? M by two pi root M by two a rho g. Right? So if you replace this. M. If we replace this M, you will get the same relationship, which is T is equal to two pi root L by G. Because, tell me, rho rho will get cancelled. Okay. Okay, so here we have typo. Instead of L over here, we will have A. So A will get cancelled. We'll get T is equal to two pi root L by G. Anyone have any issue in this? Tell me. Anyone have any issue in this? Tell me, guys. You understood this? Everyone, raise your hand. You got this. This is the formula that we have to use, right? Okay, clear, clear everyone. Okay, very good, right? Very good. What is L? What is L? If you see this, right? If you see this, L is basically the displacement from mean position. Yes or no? Maximum displacement, right? Okay.
Now, third case. Third case is this one, right? Try to find omega square for this. Okay. So in this case, obviously, if you push it, if you push this this block, right, it will go down and then it will come up. It will have. Tell me, it will have an oscillatory motion. It will perform SHM. Yes or no? Right. Think about it. Will it? Will it? Will the motion of this block will be SHM? Yes or no? Think about it. Yes. I hope all of you have done this in your home, right? As a kid, be it cock or something like that. So tell me, when you talk about this, what will be the restraining force? Which force will act as restraining force? Tell me, everyone. Which force will act as restraining force? Buoyancy, right? Now, my question would be: Okay, this is its natural length, right? This is its natural length. This is your natural length in equilibrium. Now, if you push it by x distance, if you push it by x distance, I can say, right, the buoyant force will increase by this x distance, right? So this change in buoyant force will act as your restraining force. Yes or no? Right? Yes. As volume will will increase, the buoyant force will increase, and that will, right, push this object in upward direction. Okay? Right? See, you just have to identify the restraining force. That's it. Okay. So if you, yeah, think about it. So I can say at equilibrium, at equilibrium, the mg is equal to buoyant force, which is mg is equal to rho vg. This is something that we have already studied from fluids. Okay. So I can say if you compare, right? If you compare, ld is equal to l rho. Ld is total length of the object. D is the density of the object. Small l is the Length of the object inside. Tell me inside the liquid. Rho is the density of liquid. Now, or you can just calculate the change in buoyancy. Okay. Now, if if it is right, if the box is kept or pushed by x distance, the buoyancy will also increase. Yes or no? The buoyancy will increase by this. So the change in buoyancy. Just have to calculate the change in buoyancy. This is the change in buoyancy. So this is F restoring. Yes or no? Tell me yes or no. So I can say this whole term is nothing but k, right? So k is equal to a rho g. Agree, everyone? Tell me, agree? Anyone have any issues in this? Tell me, anyone have any issue in this? Raise your hand. And we know that k. Tell me, k is equal to what? K by m is equal to omega square, right? Right? Okay. So just put it. So don't you think that this is the same formula? The only difference, right, is the Constant two, okay. When we talked about omega or time period in the previous case, when there was a liquid column, right? The formula was two pi, two pi root m by two a rho g, right? And here we have m by a rho g. That's it. That's the only difference. And if you replace m, now this m, this m is actually what mass of the object. So here you cannot. Cancel rho rho, right? Because m is the mass of the object, and here density is density of liquid. Okay, so if you replace m, then you will write like this: yes or no? A L G by A rho G. And at equilibrium, we have calculated that L D is equal to L rho, small L rho. Yes or no? How many of you remember this? That we have calculated at equilibrium, at equilibrium. Right, so capital L D and wait, A A will get cancelled. D D will okay. I'll just replace it. Right here, okay. Sorry, this L this L D is replaced with A rho L rho. There is also we have a typo error. Okay, this is also typo. This capital L D is replaced with tell me 
capital LD is replaced with small l rho. Okay, right? So this rho rho will get cancelled. This was a typo. Again, this is a typo. Rho rho will get cancelled. A will get cancelled. Again, we'll get t is equal to pi root l by g. Anyone have any issue in this? Tell me. Anyone have any issue in this? Or you understood this? Note it down, right? If you want to note it down, you can note it down in your short notes. Okay. So see, I hope all of you understood the basic idea, the basic concept, how to identify the restoring force. Okay, and find time period. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? No, no, Abira. Does not depend on mass. It does not depend on mass at all. Okay. In this case, in this case, right? In this case, obviously, when you talk about spring mass system, it does depend on mass because k is a spring constant, right? I'm talking about this case. Okay. So, as I just said, it does not depend on mass. It just depend on the length of the immersed portion. Okay, that's it, right? Got it, everyone? Tell me, have you got this concept? Okay, okay. Now the last, the last setup is what is my spring mass system. I hope all of you are aware of spring mass system already. Yes or no? Right. Now my question is, okay, sir. What we have studied till now was spring mass system in horizontal plane, right? Okay, where we don't have gravity, we don't have mg. What if it is in vertical plane? Will there be any difference? Tell me. Will there be any difference? Yes or no? If instead of having horizontal position, right? Think about it. Will there be any difference in time period? Simple conceptual problem. Will there be any difference in time period? Or the formula of time period will change. Think about it, everyone. Think about it. We have already discussed this one. I hope all of you are aware with this setup. Yes or no? Raise your hand. I hope all of you know horizontal spring. Know the concept: displacement, velocity, time period, and everything. Yes. Because we don't have to worry about mg in this setup. Okay, we don't have to worry about mg in this setup. So we can just say, okay, spring force is acting as a restoring force, right? So I can say. Restoring force is Ks into S. The Ks is just your spring force, spring constant, right? Okay. So we calculate everything over here. We calculate time period, which is two pi root m by k, right? Now, what about vertical spring? Tell me. What about vertical spring? Everyone, give it a thought. Tell me. Give it a thought. Will the time period change? Yes or no? Give it a thought, right? Right. So the answer is right. Let's think, right? Let's think from a student point of view. Okay, kya hoga? Let's try to think. Now suppose it is undeformed spring, right? And a mass is attached to this end. What will happen at equilibrium position? It will elongate to some distance d, which is equal to mg. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? Agree. This is something that everyone understood. Yes. Right, but when you talk about when you talk about SHM, it occurs when you apply some additional force. Now think about it. If you apply some additional force in this direction, or you if you move this from its equilibrium position, yes or no? Right, because when you talk about the basic definition, it is the displacement from its equilibrium position. Yes or no? It's not that it should not be deformed. It is that equilibrium position say. Displacement होना चाहिए, and the equilibrium position changed now. Instead of natural length, right? Okay, we will have elongation, which is d, as your equilibrium position. So only thing that changed is equilibrium position. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? सोचो. Yes or no? अब इसके बाद तुम अगर push करोगे, if you further pull this block, right? Then again It will have 
a restoring force which is equal to k into x now that x is the additional x right after it reached its equilibrium position clear everyone tell me concept clear hua ye cheez everyone got this concept yes or no what is happening can you imagine what is happening over here yes okay right so obviously obviously if it is if it is that case right there should not be any change right because the net force net force is what k into total displacement right total displacement minus mg now we know that ks into d is actually mg so it will be cancelled right yes so the restoring force is same as kx agree so the time period is also same anyone have any issue in this tell me anyone have any issue in this raise your hand anyone have any issues in this tell me now suppose i am a teacher right suppose obviously i am a teacher do not suppose i am a teacher right <laughs> but i want this this i want to create a problem which is much more conceptual what i can do in this case tell me what i can do think about it tell me sneha you asked one doubt right i, I i'm not saying that that, that doubt was not a, a proper doubt that is actually very good doubt right but that is again an additional concept if i keep this setup any of the setup in tell me an accelerated frame right then we will use the concept of pseudo force okay tell me yes or no then f restoring will change yes agree tell me yes and what will change what will change instead of g suppose if this is kept if this is kept right in lift so g will change na instead of g we have g effective as simple as that right wherever you are keeping g just keep g effective as simple as that right that's we have studied it there yes g will become g effective so upar ja raha hai to kuch aur ho jayega g plus a or g minus a clear right clear yes yes yaad hai na series parallel combination right so we'll be using same concept over here same concept see see series parallel combination okay so it is the opposite of resistor right opposite na opposite right hai ki nahi in resistor k equivalent is equal to k1 plus k2 okay right in series sorry r is r equivalent is equal to r1 plus r2 but here it is 1 by k is equal to 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 opposite yes like thermal conductivity like thermal conductivity okay okay clear everyone tell me clear the only thing left is compound pendulum okay compound pendulum tha jo bach gaya hai aur thoda sa advanced concept bach gaya hai jo hum log aaj raat ko kar lenge theek hai advanced wale concept by the way now this is clear everyone tell me this is clear is wo dikkat hai isme किसी को दिक्कत है इसमें क्लियर ओके वेरी गुड सो आई होप ऑल इफ यू कैन रिकॉग्नाइज दैट दिस इज योर पैरल कॉम्बिनेशन राइट एंड दिस इज योर व्हाट दिस इज आल्सो पैरल कॉम्बिनेशन राइट सो दिस ऑल आर पैरल कॉम्बिनेशन लास्ट प्रॉब्लम ओके ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम ट्वेल्थ and today guys i'll just tell everyone today 9 pm is a teaching session normally okay very good very good abiram very good humne proof kar diya to sahi hai achhi baat hai i'll give you 2 minutes okay sorry i was not recording my bad yeah so i was saying when you talk about when i talk about maximum tension okay so it will be at lowest position at this position Na na. So at this position, we'll have mg in th this direction, mv square also in this direction, right? Or mv square by l, and tension in upward direction. Tension in upward direction. So I can 
say t max equal to mg plus mv square by l. No component of mg will be taken there right? because the reaction is same. Okay. Now v I can either use. It's better to use this directly, right? V is equal to omega. I directly use it. And omega we know, right? Omega. What is omega? Omega we know, na? Right? Root g by l. And a amplitude. Max amplitude is what? L into theta, right? A is x, which is l into theta. Put it. You'll get the answer. Got it, everyone? Tell me. Everyone got this? Yes or no? Raise your hand. Yes. Easy. Anjali, you are getting. Okay, so the concept of the concept of linear stem is over now, right? The only thing which is left is your compound pendulum, right? And some additional concept that we'll be covering in today's class, right? Nine o'clock. Okay. Okay, everyone. Okay, since you guys have uh, advanced class also maths, so I won't be taking till nine thirty, right? As you guys said, okay. So that's it. I hope all of you can solve problems of twelve point one. And yes, angular system is after linear system, right? Okay. So we'll be covering that also. Don't worry, we'll be covering that also. Okay. Okay, everyone. Thank